Over the summer, I worked on three high-end budget jobs. Ackley Bridge for one week, using the RLX Mini on a two-camera crew. Free Rain from Netflix, which was also a two-camera crew on the same camera. And Hope Gap, which was a feature film. My job as a trainee was to upkeep batteries, magliners and the van. I also ran food and coffee. I learnt a lot about the structure of monitors, such as the Terra Deck, which wirelessly transmits picture from camera to monitor, and also more about the lens and camera maintenance. Things I took forward to improve on over the next year from the shoot was to manage my stress better within a set, and to be able to think quickly about technical issues. I also decided I wanted to become advanced with my understanding of the technical side of cameras. I started off the academic year with the cinematography workshops, the first of that being lighting. We were introduced again to the basics, such as the varying HMIs, Chinese lanterns and LED panels with their interchangeable lights from daylight to tungsten, to name a few. During these lectures, I was also trained with lights, ladder and electrical safety, which was really helpful when it came to understanding voltage safety and ladder positioning techniques. This knowledge was put to test within our experimenting workshops, one of which was when makeup artists came in and we recreated the scenes from The Revenant and Laura Croft. For the Laura Croft scene, we set up two 300 watt RE lights with tungsten CTOs to give the effect that we were in a hot jungle. We then set up wood panels to make it look like a jungle. The Alexa was then placed on a tripod and set to a white balance of 3600. I believe a better white balance would have been 5600 to make it more tungsten and orange in look. For the Revenant scene, we took three 300s with green and orange filters and bounced one from a poly to achieve this look. Camera-wise, I believe instead of a static shot looking down, it should have been a handheld with the actress moving to give more of an intense fight for survival look. Grip workshops were next. We were going to test out the dolly and track and also a rig to operate the camera in a smooth motion. Myself, Agnes, Jade and Becky tested the dolly on a track outside of class to practice gripping and operating smoothly. We also revisited basic information about the grip gear we have within FTU. I would for the future like to improve my gripping skills to dolly smoother and also better at operating and focus pulling on the dolly for when the shoes start. Well, it's taking it all up anyway, so that's okay. That's the tilt. There. Okay. Right. And these are the resistance for the panning, and this is the resistance yep. for the tilting. So, and... <laughs> Second AC workshops were next. Within the camera department, which is the line of work I am interested in going to the most, the seminar was really interesting. Understanding what was needed within our AC bags, and also recap from last year on how to board, this came in very useful on the director's workshops, where I was able to put the solid and experience to use. My role of the day was keeping the bag liner and lenses clean and organised, and quickly accessible. I also swung lenses and set up monitors. One thing to take from this shoot was my ability to quickly set up the press turn on the F5, but I'm confident from the role in the upcoming shoots. Focus pulling experience was something I aimed to improve on the most over the seminars. I focused mainly on this role in the classes and tried to improve my understanding of distance in reference to lenses. I find it easier to focus using a manual focus next to the actual lens and have been trying to improve my skills by using a press turn and focusing without a monitor. This was all in training for my role as a first on the two final year films. With the director's workshops, I focus pulled on stains. I feel as though I did really well with my focus pulling and was also happy with my collaboration within the team and kept professional and calm at all times. I still have a lot to learn about focus pulling and want to upkeep my experience and progress my skills. Camera operating was a challenging step up this year, working again with cameras such as the Alexa and the Canon series. One camera that has been challenging so far to master is the Sony F series cameras. With their detailed settings, they take a while to get used to, but I was determined to understand it. This has really been put to the test in every director's workshops, as the DOPs have all decided to use the F-series within their films, due to its better processing of colour and ability to work well in low light. Other things I've learned with the lectures is firstly within using film, something I haven't been used to doing before. The experience was great and I wanted to learn more in the future. I took the knowledge and put a fortress in my own camera, which is a very much smaller version of the film camera, and it's not loaded in the same way. 
but film makes me think before I shoot, and understanding the combination of shutter, ISO and aperture really helped vamp up my knowledge. Slow motion is also something I gained a lot of experience in. The seminars were really helpful and fun to learn the effects of different frame rates. Again, using the Sony series with the raw recorder to gain its highest frame rate. In my spare time, I've also been reading over camera manuals and reviews to keep myself immersed with filmmaking. I normally share this information within the filmmaking Facebook page. Within the director's workshops, I got the opportunity to step up as an operator. We did varying shots such as a bird's eye and tracking shots. I was happy with the framing but believe with better lighting and a change of ISO and white balance to a warmer tone, it could have changed the overall aesthetics of the shots and could have looked better. I also got to use my knowledge of slow motion to achieve this fun shot. I do believe that upping the frame rate on this shot would have made it look a little bit better. Slowing it down could have gotten a more fun aesthetic. From all of this learning and progression, I was able to put my knowledge to the test on some MA shoes. I firstly focus pulled on We Are Dancers. They had two cameras set up on the Canon C300 Mark II. Focus pulling manually, I then set up a Preston for a camera on the Alexa s 6 I've definitely gained confidence with focus pulling, but believe more experience is needed. I also stepped in as a grip when B camera wasn't needed, mostly cable wrangling and moving gear. I then took the position for a week as a second on North Pier, which I found to be really challenging with setups having to be done very quickly and things not being super organised. But I learned how to quickly de-rig kit and safely put it away. I also packed the kit safely into a small van. Although demanding and great to test the student knowledge is on, I still learned a lot about setting up, especially the Ari Alexa S60 and how to fit the zoom lens on with its extra bars. I also gained more experience as a second swinging lens at setting up monitors and boarding. During the Christmas period, I was also given the privilege of being able to operate on the shoot Dear Woman Child. It was a real challenge and I learnt more about the Canon C300 and its varying ability with low light. I was really tested by my DOP Tunji on the different white balances for different scenarios. I was also able to test my ability to operate. Last year I found I was very shaky and not very confident, but this year I have seemed to have become more steadier with my shots and also confident enough to find the right framing for both DOP and director. I was very pleased with my work and I've been asked to come back to work in the new years. I feel very confident and happy with my progression and skills developed over this semester. I can't wait to start on the shoots. I'm still wanting to progress and challenge myself with focus pulling and continue to collaborate with others on outside shoots. But I can't wait for the challenges that await me in the next year. Thank you for listening.